So you're interested in the basics of buy-to-let investing, the actual things that you need to know so you can get started right away. If that's the case, then you're in the right place. My name's Dan, welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you're interested in all things UK buy-to-let property related, make sure you start now by subscribing and clicking the bell to ensure that you don't miss a thing. Before we get started, I think it'll be worth me clarifying really quickly what I mean by buy-to-let property investing. Buy-to-let is a strategy in the property investing industry that relates to buying what most would class as a normal house or apartment and renting it out to a single person, a couple or a family. Buy-to-let is the most simplest, straightforward and least time-consuming property investing strategy. So now that we're clear on what a buy-to-let property is, Let's start at the very beginning. The first thing that you have to think about and to be really clear on is what your actual goal is. The question that you need to be able to answer is, why do you want to invest in buy-to-let property? And the reason why you need to be super crystal clear on your goal is so you can determine realistically if investing in buy-to-let property can actually help you achieve that desired outcome. Let me give you an example. If you said your goal is to make enough money to leave your day job and to live solely off the rental income that your buy-to-let properties generate, you're going to need about 15 or 20 properties. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I've probably just lost about 90% of viewers with that statement alone. But it's the truth. Realistically, buy-to-let properties generate around £250 income per month, and this is before tax. £250 times 20 properties is £5,000. £5,000 minus 20% tax is £4,000 income per month. This you could probably retire off, but one buy-to-let property and £250 a month, I'm pretty confident that you can't. So if your goal is to retire, then you need to be very aware it won't happen overnight. You'll need a considerable amount of money for deposits and approximately 20 properties before you'll be handing in that notice. And that's why it's so important to know what your goal is before you get started. Let's look at another example. If your goal is to put your hard-earned savings into an appreciating asset to stop inflation decreasing its value in the bank, then buy-to-let property investing could be the right answer for you. If you wanted some help on goal setting, then make sure you check out this video. You might be best stopping this video actually for a few minutes just while you think about your goal. Grab a piece of paper and a pen, have a good think about it and write it down. Okay, so you're clear on your goal now. Before we get going again, let me offer you a free copy of my book, How to Buy to Let. In the book, I give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to purchase a safe, solid, sound, secure, and profitable buy-to-let investment property. This is the exact blueprint that I used to purchase 16 buy-to-lets and to create a property portfolio worth over two million pounds. Simply go below to the description, click the link, and I'll send you out a free copy. Moving on, let's say that you believe a buy-to-let property can help you achieve your goal. Well, then you'll need to check that you qualify for a buy-to-let mortgage. I advise speaking to an all-market, buy-to-let specialist mortgage advisor and not the mate of your dad's who sorted out your residential property. If you don't yet know a specialist, I can highly recommend Cheryl Marshall of Chelmere Mortgages. I've worked with Cheryl now for over 16 years and she is absolutely excellent at what she does. Here is a link to an interview that I did with Cheryl a few years back where we talked about all things buy-to-let property mortgage related. Once you get the green light for a buy-to-let mortgage and you're good to go, then you'll need to have a think about how you will set up your business. Yes, that's right. Property investing these days is and should be treated as a business. You'll need to keep books, submit tax returns, manage people and oversee the day-to-day -day running of your property business. There are far more requirements and responsibilities these days and it's not as straightforward as buying a property anywhere, letting it out and making a profit. You can buy property in a limited company or in your own name. Both have their pros and cons, but briefly, any income that you generate from property investing will be added to your salary, meaning that you could pay a lot more tax if you start bringing in income from properties. Investing through a limited company reduces the tax but comes with other costs and responsibilities. Make sure you check out this video if you want to know more about whether to buy in your personal name or in a limited company. 
When you're clear on how you will purchase your investment property, you'll need to select your investing area, tenant profile, property type, and then you'll need to understand how to break down and add up all of the numbers, meaning that you'll need to do some serious research and up your knowledge at this stage. I've actually put together a free training webinar on how to select an area, a property, and how to work out the numbers, which I'm pretty confident that you will find really useful. Simply go to the description below and click the link, or visit my website, www.newtoproperty.co.uk, and head over to the resources page to sign up for free. Once clear on the location, tenant profile, property type, and you understand the numbers, you'll need to get out and start viewing. If you wanted a free copy of my viewing checklist I use when I go out and view properties, head over to the resources page on my website. Again, the same address, www.newtoproperty.co.uk, where you'll be able to pick up a copy. You'll also need a solicitor ready to act on your behalf for when you get an offer accepted. And again, I suggest you work with a buy-to-let specialist rather than somebody local and cheap. I can highly recommend Ben Hagger of Bates and Wells. Ben is really responsive, professional, knows his stuff and specialises in buy-to-let properties. I interviewed Ben a few years back and if you wanted to watch that interview, make sure you check out this video. When the sale is going through, you'll want to be finding a letting agent to work with, and trust me, you'll want to get this one right. Working with a decent agent can be the difference between a hassle-free investment or a hands-on headache. I've got a video that will help you select a great agent, which you can view just here. And finally, you should then get your hands on the keys to your new investment property. If you are getting any value from this video at all, please do give me a thumbs up. It just helps others find the video like you have done today, and I'd really appreciate it. Before you can legally let a property, you'll need a gas safe certificate, a CO alarm and a smoke alarm on every floor, and an EICR or electrical safety certificate. And your property will need to be safe, clean, and in excellent condition to welcome tenants. And that's pretty much the basics of buy to let property investing. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below. Don't forget to pick up a free copy of my book, How to Buy to Let, and I will see you next time.